Hi there everyone, it is time for another Morrison's Too Good To Go box. Let's have a look and see what's inside. But first of all, I'm Samantha, this is the channel Trying To Get By. We are trying to find the bargains that are out there and trying to find ways of making our money stretch even further. So let's have a look what's inside the box this week. Okay. So we're in a Walker's box for some reason today instead of their usual boxes. So let's see what we've got to start with. It looks like we are going for the herbs. We have got rosemary, more rosemary. I love the smell of rosemary, but we do have a massive rosemary bush in the garden, but that's fine. We can use some of that and de dry it off. We have got parsley and more parsley and more parsley and some more parsley. Well, that's going in the instant pot on dehydrate, and I will dehydrate that off to be safe for other things. Mint, same as, we'll do the same with that. So, now, once we've gone past the layer of herbs, we are in to a mixture of other things. So, let's move this to the side, and we will see what we have got. So, Chris will be glad there are some cakey things. Yay! We have got Mr Kipling Country Slices. Mine. <laughs> we are... Panel chocolat. Mine. That's yours, okay. Um, we have got some bready things. We have got some mini naans. We have got some more mini naans. Those are great. Those will just go straight in the freezer, no problems. Um, oh, oh, well, I think we're gonna be having curry or mini pizzas. There you go. Although it's quite nice with soup as well. Um, oh, we had run out of seeded bread. We now have a loaf of seeded bread again, straight in the freezer. Now we've got a little bit of fresh produce in here. We have got, oh, I love sweet potatoes. They are one of my favorites. So we have got three packs of sweet potato. Only thing you've got to watch out with this is sweet potato. Not like normal potato. Normal potatoes will start to go softer a little bit dehydrated a little bit wrinkly and you can still kind of get away with using them even though they're not as good as they once were i find with sweet potatoes that doesn't happen they go straight from being great to mold so just watch out with your sweet potatoes so i'm probably going to use these up in the next few days i might put one of them in one of my soup recipes for this month we shall have to see now we're into a little bit of fruit we've got some blueberries they're looking a mm, little bit squishy on the bottom, but nothing too bad there. We have got some grapes again. Nope, they're looking pretty healthy. And we have got some strawberries. I think the reason this one has been put in, because this is not past its date, is because the packaging got damaged. So they're just repackaged and, oh, they smell really nice. Oh, are they British? Is it time for British strawberries yet? <gasps> British strawberries, Staffordshire grown. I don't know why, but British, if you're in Britain and you have British strawberries, they're always so much nicer than imported strawberries. So I tend not to ever buy strawberries until it's peak British growing season. So that is quite a nice little haul there. So £3.9p, Morrison's. What are we thinking? Are we thinking a good box this time? There's not as much fresh we negate the herbs because herbs are neither here nor there. There's not as much fresh produce as I've had in, in the past. If you remember my last Morrison's box, we got a mound of carrots that we had to find 75 th things to do with. This time we're gonna have we're gonna have obviously these are gonna get eaten pretty quickly. This is just gonna go straight to sandwiches. We might have to get a bit creative with the nans. Like I say, we've got we can use them with soup, we can use them with some nice curries. Or we could make like non bread pizzas. If you have any other ideas, let me know in that comment box on what you would do with the nans. Um, grapes. Now, grapes. I don't mind grapes. I'm not, to be honest, I've got a confession. I'm not a massive fruit fan. I'm not one of those people who can just sit there and go, oh, I'll just eat an apple or I'll just have a banana. I've got to really be in the mood for fruit. So I have got actually quite a lot of grapes in the freezer from previous Morrison's boxes that I have had and I need to think of something to do with them. Maybe I've got enough now I could make some grape jelly um, and can that and stick it on the shelves. 
Have you had much success with making grape jelly? I'm not sure. Let's have a have another think. What else could I do with the grapes? My mum used to make a savoury dish with grapes. I think it was along the line of, you remember chicken a la Veronique or something like that? I might have to come up with a, a vegetarian version of that recipe and see if I can do that as well. Blueberries, I think we'll probably just pop those and maybe the strawberries in with some bananas in a smoothie. That'd be quite delicious for a breakfast. And sweet potatoes, some soups, maybe a sweet potato curry to go with the nans. And maybe some just nice sweet potato on the side of other meals because I do like a good baked sweet potato as well. So I think this is not too bad for a Morrison's box. Not the best I've ever had, but certainly not the worst I've ever had. I'm going to give this one a good 7 out of 10. What would you give the marks to be? Stick them in the comments below and we'll see what we think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.